Twitter in flames. Let's dive straight into the reading today because there's some beautiful energies arising right now and I can't wait to go deeper into them. So we can begin with the first card which is Cleopatra and Caesar Fertility. So there's good things arising, there's good things growing, good things in the pipeline even if you can't see them just yet. This card's about ruling over one's life, a new marriage or special relationship, practical action that manifests as a physical product, children, artistic endeavours or wealth. You may channel energy or help get creative projects underway or fertilise their completion. Whatever the direction you're turning, something of value will accelerate your progress. Feelings blossom with the warmth of optimism and you will be finding expression in some uninhibited way. Moods in the moment are swinging towards happiness. You may find yourself indulging in happy thoughts about your heart's desires or looking for short ways to navigate through negative emotions. It's time to overcome difficulties in love, even if it means claiming your support from a professional. Understanding hope and faith in your future are the key words for this card. There is a great abundance in all ways that is ready to flow into your life as you connect with spirit to create, embrace your creativity. Pay attention to any new inspirations that you have as these are inspired by the divine to bring you great healing and to help other like-minded souls. Trust the guidance you are receiving. Take your work and creation in new and exciting directions. Amazing opportunities and success are likely if you direct this powerful creative energy towards achieving your creative goals. So it's confirmation of the previous card. This is a time for really getting your creative juices flowing in whatever way feels good for you. If you're, uh, if you like expressing yourself in a variety of different media, you don't have to worry if you're not doing all of them at once. You don't have to be doing all of them at all, all at the same time. You can focus on one project or one medium and really push forward with that. It's also an important time to trust your intuition, your internal guidance as well as the external guidance because the divine is speaking to you in your heart. That's what your intuition is. So don't deny those little divine nudges that you're getting. Even though we may push each other to the limits, our love will always be eternal and limitless. I will choose to love myself, love life and fall in love with my divine partner again every day. When your twin flame will push you. They absolutely will. No one's going to annoy you as much as your twin flame and no one's going to trigger you as much. But while you're being triggered, you're being loved. Remember that because the triggers, the purpose of triggers is to point to a place in consciousness requiring healing requiring you to deliver love to these places and the triggers will continue to come until you've fully loved yourself in those places when these places are fully loved through when the lesson is completely learnt that particular trigger that particular lesson won't show up anymore there'll be no reason for it to do so there'll be further lessons of course before union after union all the way to perfect union or full enlightenment a little message from the twin flame. With one smile, I was so weak at the knees. You took my breath away with just one look. So regardless of how things look on the outside, please know that your twin flame is wildly attracted to you, whether they admit to it or not, because they're designed to be attracted to you. Can you acknowledge that the divine loves you so much? They created your twin flame as the perfect person for you and created you as the perfect person for them. Do you think that we live in a universe where the divine would create the perfect person for you and some other person for them? Keep the faith. Remember that only love is real. Remember you only desire, you only truly desire what's always been yours. 
we have the Six of Cups. Inwardly nurture your emotions with a strong voice of appreciation. Confidence in your choices creates a foundation for positive experiences in your evolving world of love. Think back on pleasant times in your life to see if you can find almost forgotten ways of being that can be useful for you right now. From your place of emotional centeredness, you may see a part of fulfilment that might have been invisible to you before. If you allow the divine to guide you, when all the roads seem to end up in dead ends, you will be shown the secret paths that only you can comprehend. <clears throat> Spirit wants you to know that you are heading towards higher security, which will be established on a firm and stable foundation. New opportunities are being presented to you to improve your stability in the physical world, within the home and in business. Inspiring opportunities and collaborations may re require long days and late nights to achieve your goals. You are being supported with your ventures and abundance will flow freely to you in many forms. Keep going, you've got this. Your foundation is so important. It's your union and to your life because then your union becomes the foundation for your whole life. You don't want to come into your union and then out of union because of a weak foundation. It's okay to spend a little bit longer on the foundation so it's completely solid when union comes in. So you know it's permanent. You know it's eternal. You know it's there for keeps. You will never have to worry about love leaving. Your love can't leave because you are that love. That love is always in you. That's how you were created. So with a strong foundation, you don't have to fear that your union could leave once it's come in. Because sometimes when people have that fear, it can keep their union away. But you really have nothing to worry about. I am authentic, unique and wonderfully made. I honour myself, flaws and all loving myself unconditionally. Yet yeah, everybody's perfectly imperfect. You are a divine child of the universe. You were created perfect. If there's any feelings of unworthiness coming up regarding your union, you can let those go right now because you were created perfect, you were born perfect, you can't deviate from perfection, there's nothing you need to do to be good enough because you already are good enough, you can't not be, you're eternally stuck as worthy. I am jealous, I admit it, you attract lots of attention and feel, and I feel intimidated like, by this. Well, this may apply to some of the people listening or maybe even one single person. If it's you, you'll know. But some people get um, a lot of unwanted attention from others, from other men, other women, and... That might be a little bit difficult for the Twin Flame to handle. They may think that if you're together, if they're always having to protect you and claim you, then it would actually be quite painful for them. But it's okay, it doesn't have to be like that. You can ch you simply make a choice. Not to leak any energy inadvertently that may attract others. Not to attract others. Just to attract your one true love. And amazingly, it works. Ah, 
Ah, I was just talking about choices and there we are. Two of staves. Time and experience is going to be leading to greater clarity about the lifestyle, values and emotional makeup of your person. Don't allow confusion or indecisiveness to dominate your attention. Questions involving the direction of your love life are soon going to be answered. Concentrate on developing, developing and appreciating your best qualities. For your confidence can help you light the fire and rekindle the passion of your union. Become aware of moments when a despairing attitude limits you. For moving beyond these limits can open up a brighter horizon. Passion is joining forces with desire and intimate connections are going to be occurring. You and your person will be enjoying new lovemaking methods that will excite sensual ecstasy. Invigorating the desire for deeper intimacy and emotional explorations. So you've got a lot to look forward to there. Just keep going. All the desires in your heart are already yours. Just allow the divine to bring them to you. Okay, everybody, I'm going to close this message now. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.